This is Twit. Tell us about how Everipedia works. Everipedia is... Um, uh, so I I love this uh, site, and I, I I wouldn't be part of it if I didn't. Um, the huge difference between Everpedia, there's actually two of them between uh, Everpedia and Wikipedia. The first is it's truly the encyclopedia of everything. Um, you can make articles if you wanted to about every city, street, every business, every person in the world. Um, I made an article about my left thumb <laughs> um, just to show that I could. Um, and so uh, there is no notability policy on Everpedia. And the consequences of that are uh, surprisingly profound, actually. It really changes the nature of what is going on. And I wouldn't have guessed this at first, but I think it changes it for the better. I don't think it's anything that that we ever really seriously considered on Wikipedia. You know, I don't I don't think we ever really really seriously considered the idea of just letting people make articles about anything as long as they were encyclopedia articles. They have to be encyclopedia articles, but they literally the topic is open, um, and. Um, it it basically means that that uh, you can go in and and uh, catalog your your knowledge and, and and wisdom wisdom about all kinds of different things that Wikipedia is simply closed to. Um, anyway, uh, another thing is uh, that it is uh, much better designed and the, Wikipedia uses the the name of the software is MediaWiki. So the, all kinds of wikis that you see today that are sort of based on the Wikipedia model that we developed also use the same software called MediaWiki. Um, but it's written in PHP, which is kind of an old-fashioned clunky language. No offense to coders out there. And and um, it's uh, the, the the way that it's designed is very reminiscent of that era and it hasn't changed much not really um the the uh mobile design is an improvement um but if you just go to the site it really doesn't look that different than it did like 10 or even 15 years ago um and so they've made uh the um first of all um Everpedia is a fork of Wikipedia, and so you can go in and you can edit any article that is on Wikipedia on Everpedia, um, which is pretty liberating for people who have been sort of struggling to deal with the the um, the community on on Wikipedia, which can sometimes be very very close knit and maybe insular, um, difficult to deal with very prickly, very persnickety. Um, Everpedia is not like that at all. It's a, it's a younger crowd, um, more uh, tolerant, I would say, of, of quirks and so forth, which, uh, again, I'm the guy who actually came up with, with the uh, ignore all rules rule, um, so that appeals to me. So I notice, unlike Wikipedia, that the article about your left thumb is properly sourced as well. Um, we've got a website for Muir High School and other links, I see. So the idea is here nothing. So the, what Wikipedia does is they decide uh, that, well, that's not important enough to be part of Wikipedia. But no one would say like, well, Larry's right thumb is much more popular than his left thumb. So we're going to write about his right thumb and cut this out. They wouldn't, there'd be no one to ever say that. Uh, that's true. That is absolutely true. Now, I, that isn't, that isn't all. Um, <laughs> I'm just telling you, I'm just giving you the news um, about um, how um, Everpedia has has set itself up what its niche has been um up until just the last couple of months 
Okay. Well, that well, this is a big one. I mean, that's been something. I mean, because I I have a Wikipedia page that someone created at some point when I was uh, on a cable on Tech TV, the cable TV station, and mm-hmm. then I uh, had three kids and disappeared for about a decade. And whereas my coworkers' Wikipedia pages were taken down because they weren't seen as important, mine was completely ignored because I was nowhere. <laughs> and uh, and now it's it's still up there. I have also have an Everpedia page. Yes. Um, uh, which I assume would be easier for me to edit than it is. Well, I, I've never edited my own Wikipedia page. Is there still I, that that rule? You don't edit your own work. No, you okay. can edit your own. And but but I I have no doubt if you don't have one on Everypedia right now. Of course you do. <laughs> um, yes, because it was borrowed from from um, uh, Wikipedia. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yes, you could go in there and update it. And uh, maybe you should. Yeah. Um, I, I have a feeling that uh, after this, if it hasn't gotten lots of attention um, from from people, it it very soon will, because um, that's how that's how uh, the guys at, in in the office are, basically. Um, so we've got a number of people in the office who basically do nothing but but write and edit, um, and and then there's a, a big community in addition uh, of volunteers, um, and they they like respond very positively to you know any sort of press. Well, I so. tried to I tried to become an editor, but I uh, you can you can't yeah it has to you have to be chosen. Uh, that's that's very recent. That's um, you. All you have to do right now is to um, leave a, a message on the contact form and say, "Please make me an editor, editor, um, and uh, give your email address, and and um, and they'll add you." But um, there's a technical reasons that have to do with uh, uh, the fact that we are actually moving everything onto the blockchain. Mm. So, um, yeah, uh, but it, it is possible, but we have to, um, we have to do it this way for uh, a few weeks, but that's going to change pretty soon. So anyone It'll change back. So anyone uh, at some point can, can write anything about anything. What are the other big differences? Um, well, I, I think the, the, uh, there's another one that I'll mention before I get into the blockchain stuff. Um, and that is that, um, the, the, um, guys and gals who are, um, paid or, or, uh, who some of them haven't been paid at all. They've been, they, they've been paid in equity and that they're just, it's their labor of love. They put in hours and hours, um, writing on stuff and, and, uh, Mahbud, um, uh, is, is the 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 leader of of this, and and I I think he and some others are really setting the tone for for uh, Everpedia, and and um, it's much it's much more hip, it's much cooler, it's more thug, as they say. <laughs> uh, I don't understand this new you know kids these days. I don't get their jargon, but um, but. It's they are a lot of fun, and they're like they're much more open and tolerant, um, and um, and it's a younger crowd, and that just makes a big difference. You know, the people that you start. I mean, look at look at Quora for example versus um, versus Yahoo Answers. The the concept is very very similar. But Quora decided that they needed to start with a group of people who are like movers and shakers in the tech world and some other fields and some thoughtful celebrities and whatever. Um, and and they, they got a really interesting set of early adopters. And that has forever after – shaped the the community because communities online communities are are self-selecting right um they uh they will people will join a community if they like what how it looks they'll stay with the community if they like the people that they interact with there and the policies that they're working under um and if they don't like it they don't try to change them they just leave Mm-hmm. And so um, online communities tend to be relatively stable that way. 
So Wikipedia had one sort of group of people that it ended up with after that first seminal year. And then um, uh, Everpedia has developed a different sort of zeitgeist, different sort of, of, of um, outlook on, on how to interact with each other and what's important and what's interesting and what's, what's cool.